Hi friends, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to add or connect servers to Windows Admin Center step by step full. So in last video we have uh, discussed about the uh, what we can do by using Windows Admin Center in also we have in last video we have installed Windows Admin Center in one of our server which is Windows 19 AC01 and in this video I'm going to show you how we can add like this file server and Windows Admin Center and how we can do the administration of the file server uh, from uh, Windows Admin Center and also we can uh, how we can monitor uh, the health and how we can do the administrative task basically from uh, Admin Center for uh, after adding the server so let's get in so this is my demo environment which I'm going to use in this video so in this video I have total three virtual machines which is acting as a server so the first machine is Win2K19 DC01 and this is running Active Directory and DNS services you can see an IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.151 and this machine having 6 gig of memory and this my domain name is victimforsoul.land so let's verify this server so if I go to local server you can see win, uh, see win2k19 dc01 and the IP address of my domain controller 151 and this is running Active Directory and DNS role so this is good so this is my basically Active Directory server and the second machine which we have uh, our windows admin center where we have installed a windows admin center in last video so you can see this is win2k19 ac01 admin center 01 and this machine having IP address 192.168.0.150 and this machine having 6 gig of memory and join in my domain victorinfoso.lan so let's verify here so if I go to local machine you can see win2k19 ac01 and this is joined in my domain and the IP address is 192.168.0.150 so this is my admin center and if I go to control panel and users and uh, program and features you can see Windows Admin Center is installed on this machine so this is good now I'm going to open my Windows Admin Center console so I'm going to open a Chrome and in Chrome I'm going to browse my the server HTTPS path web browser so I'm going to open so you can see it's loading Windows Admin Center so in last video we have just installed this Windows Admin Center so it's having only one server which is our uh, this uh, Windows Admin Server itself so you can see we can check the details about these servers this particular server which is Win2K19 AC01 so basically we can see only one server which is uh, this Windows Admin Center itself now we are going to add more servers in this video I'm going to add particular this server in my Windows Admin Center which is Win2K19 FS01 which is basically a file server so I'm going to minimize this and this is my server so Win2K19 FS01 so you can see uh, the server name and it's joined in my domain victimforsoul.lan and the machine IP address is 192.168.0.153 which is given here in slide so this is my file server which I'm going to add to my this uh, Windows Admin Center to add server we can click on just here you can see all connections and click on add so it's going to give you the options add connections like you can add servers you can add Windows PC which is running Windows 10 you can add the fa failover cluster connection also you can uh, add the hyperconverse connections so I'm going to add a server connection and you can type the name of the server so it's automatically going to resolve the name so I'm going to type fs01 so you can see it's going to take some time and going to resolve the server name so you can see found this machine has been found win2k19-fs01.vectorfossil.land so this is good I'm going to click on submit so now you can see the server is added now when we click uh, submit but its last connected status you can see it's never connected so and managed by victorinfosol AC admin so now I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click on connect button it's going to ask credential first time to authenticate I guess so we ca you can see it's, na uh, it's not ask credential because it's already authenticated by my uh, account which is AC admin so this is good thing now if I click here 
you can see I'm able to see this machine information like computer name in 2K19 FS01 you can see domain you can see how much disk it's have you can see the memory and you can see the processor de details also you can see the uh, nice uh, graphics interface with having chart uh, regarding the graph basically regarding the CPU utilization memory utilization and network bandwidth so also you can see everything from here whatever you want to do it like if you want to connect with the PowerShell you can connect this server by using the PowerShell so if I type host name you can see I'm connected with uh, Win2K19 FS01 which is good and if you want to connect with the remote desktop also you can uh, create the remote desktop so I guess remote desktop is not going to enable so we can enable it from setting also you don't need to go to li like you can see remote desktop connection are not allowed to this computer this can this can be changed from remote desktop setting page so let's go there and change the remote desktop settings so I'm going to allow remote desktop connection for this computer and click save and now we are good to connect this machine from a remote desktop so you can see uh, success uh, succeeded updating remote desktop settings so this is good now if I go here remote desktop and you can see it's started initiating the remote desktop connection so soon this machine is going to be yeah you can see here what it's going do you want to connect using certificate so it's going to ask about the certificate so that that's good let's connect it's going to ask the credential which account you want to use uh, to log in so I'm going to use my uh, this server account which is AC admin so now you can see we have logged in successfully from uh, Windows admin center to this machine and if I go to local server you can see this is FS01 so this is good thing and also you can browse your shares since this is a files a file server I'm going to show you how you can create a file shares from here so if I go to D drive which is share and create one folder called like let's call it test share and click submit so it's going to uh, you can see creating test share folder and it has been created so here is our uh, folder which we have just created and now I'm going to add one uh, share this uh, share folder basically so I'm going to click on here you can see we got the options storage and then you will see like what you have so we have uh, here disk details you have here volumes detail and here you can see we have share folder uh, so currently in this sh uh, file server we have three sh uh, four share folder I'm going to add new share and then I'm going to type uh, uh, browse the share folder so I'm going to in my D drive and in D drive the folder which we have just created test share and click OK and now just click on submit so it's going to uh, share folder is going to be created and now you can see the folder has been created and you can see this is healthy status ok and file share protocol is SMB so this is good so if you want to do any other further thing you can do also you can manage your uh, patching from here from Windows Admin Center so you can click on updates and you can like schedule the restart also if you wish to restart on certain given date or time you can go there and you can set the uh, date and time like uh, like you want to reboot on every Sunday so you can say go there and you can set the uh, date there and then you can select basically date and you can oops we need to set 10 and then you can third March 10 and then you can set the time as well so like what time you want to reboot so I'm going to reboot after you can say uh, 6 p.m. so I'm going to type here
like six zero zero and this is the time which you can set and now you can check for uh, you can click on settings and you can uh, mark these settings like uh, what type of settings you want download update and let me choose install so I'm going to uh, select install update automatically and click save you can also force to check for windows update and you can always go here and check the update windows update history so this is good so in this video that's all how you can add the server in windows admin center and how you can do the, some administrative tasks by using the windows administrative uh, administrative admin center so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye